board, okay? Yeah, come on. Okay, wow. All right, so I'm going on I'm a, a gondola. I'm a little scared, actually. You're pretty. Is it scary up there? Hmm? Is it scary up there? No. You wanna no? try later? No. <laughs> Do I wanna try? No. <laughs> You're not alone. I stay closer to you. Don't worry. <laughs> no, I would ruin your boat. <laughs> this is your first time boat? Yes, my this is my first gond really? gondola ride. I made a new friend. Say hello. Ciao. <laughs> He offered a gondola ride and I just said, of course, I have to. Oh, and he's singing. I sing also for you. <laughs> singing. <laughs> this is amazing. You have to repeat me your name, eh? My name is Taylor. Taylor. Yes, and yours? Like Marco. Marco. He's like Mark. Yes. If it's easier to you, call me Mark, eh? I like Marco. <laughs> <laughs> so that was amazing. I just got a free gondola ride from a new friend. <laughs> He was so nice. He uh, he was just like, would you like a ride? And I'm like, uh, how much? And he was like, it's free. And I'm like, sold. <laughs> so it was beautiful. That is certainly the way to travel through Venice. On foot is cool for sure, but by the water is like magic and it's sunset. It was just stunning. It was quite romantic, quite amazing. I'm just falling in love with Italy and Venice. More to come. I still haven't eaten. I still need more food. It's like three hours later. I need to get some food in my stomach. Spaghetti, pasta, tiramisu, pizza. Give me something. <laughs> I'm just lost in these Venetian streets. <laughs> it's quite easy to do. It's very beautiful here. Oh. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> so I just hit a dead end. Tired is not even the word, you guys. <laughs> I am exhausted, but in the best way possible. Venice makes, oh my God, Ven like coming here today to Venice, I was like, yes, yes, this is what I want. This is what I want from traveling because when I, I I'm discovering that when I go somewhere else, I wanna be somewhere where things look totally unfamiliar to me. You know what I mean? Like I, you know, lived in a, bun a couple of places and now I live in New York, so it's like, I went to London, although London was amazing, it wasn't like super different than what I'm used to, although there were some big differences and London is really cool, but it's like similar, you know, big city New York, but Venice, it's completely like nothing that you have ever seen in your life, okay? First of all, there are no cars. Everything is by boat, <laughs> water taxi, or gondola. Uh, the gondola ride I took today for free was amazing. <laughs> I still can't even believe that happened. Um, the gondolier's name was Marco. So thank you, Marco, <laughs> for the free gondola ride. I really appreciate it. And he serenaded me with his, his song in Italian, and I was just like, oh my god, are you kidding me? But I digress. So. It's just amazing to come somewhere 
where it, and it's just like nothing you've ever seen before in your life because you're just in awe of everything like the architecture is, is beautiful the buildings are so old I think the city uh, is like 500 years old maybe more I could be wrong it probably is more but it's a very old city but it is so beautiful and it's like a maze you will get lost Yes, if you come to Venice, you will get lost. Um, just accept it and go with the flow because it's a beautiful lost that you'll see so much along the way. It just, it won't even matter. And you'll find your way back. Just stay by like a landmark or something. I think I'm I'm staying pretty close to um, the Rialto Bridge. It's like a couple minutes, my arm is hurting, a couple minutes from the Rialto Bridge. So yeah, but anyway, Venice day one, amazing amazing oh and the food oh <sighs> the food man oh my god I had this lasagna the lasagna was fantastic mm. uh, but anyway I'm gonna wrap this up I'm gonna rest I'm gonna stretch um, my Airbnb is great however there are like a hundred stairs to get up here I'm not, I'm not even joking like a hundred stairs bro no elevator so my thighs are like what my quads are like what and you know venice is like kind of like you go up you go down you go up you go down you walk around you know it's like rough terrain so i'm gonna rest up it's like maybe 10 30 almost 11 here so i'm gonna rest up get ready for tomorrow i'm gonna rub my body go stretch it out and i'm gonna do it again tomorrow good morning it is uh venice day two and i am dressed and rested and ready to go outside so i'm going to explore the opposite side of where i was on uh yesterday so basically i'm just gonna cross the rialto bridge and go to like campo santa margarita i think it's what it's called it's kind of like a younger people vibe and i think there's like a university over there that's supposed to be really pretty so i am going to take my little self and go over there we're off You guys, I think Venice is easily one of the most beautiful places I have ever, ever been to. Even aside from Spain, which I loved, I think Venice just like takes the cake. It's beautiful, it's romantic, it's old, it's I don't know what, but it's just so beautiful. And there's not really much else to say, but I definitely think that you should come here, enjoy it. Um, Right on a gondola, get some gelato, live your life. But I just feel so amazing, so relaxed, and just enjoying the day. So I broke. <laughs> I broke, and I I got some leather goods. <laughs> But they're, they're so, um, I don't want to say cheap because they're like legit Italian leather, but they're just such a good price. Okay, where am I going? Um, but yeah, I got such good deals on my new goodies.
people are nice, the food is delicious, the wine is fantastic, the rosé, amazing. Um, but yes, I am kissing Venice goodbye. I will be back very soon, calling it. Um, I'm a little hoarse. I was out last night on a rooftop bar in Venice on, or not, not Venice, an island that I went to whatever I'll link it like below it was called like skyline or something really beautiful views and I had the best peach Bellini I've ever had in my life they like muddle the peach is not just like a puree they legit muddle it and then put some Prosecco on it so it was fabulous the Bellini was made here I didn't really put that together but go figure it was delicious so I'm in pretty good shape um, I hop on the train to the Maestra station or however you say that because that's where uh, my train to Rome takes off from, so I'm just taking in my last few seconds of Venice. You've been amazing. The gondola ride. Marco, my new friend, the gondolier. Uh, it was fantastic, so man, but I'm hoarse and I'm tired, but I'm pressing on because that's what you got to do. So the next stop is Roma, and I think that I'm going to go ahead and just go for the trip to Pompeii and Amalfi. I'm here. I'm just gonna smush it in. I'm gonna sleep when I get back to New York. It's fine. I'm gonna be good. So, more adventures to come. Hey guys, so I'm in Roma. I'm in Rome. I just got in maybe like 20 or so minutes ago and um, I'm just settling in in my little loft space. It's like 5 ish, well, 4 30 here. So I think I'm going to chill out a bit, let my phone charge up, rest some, and then just go out for dinner. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go out for dinner. I have my rain boots. I will definitely need them today. I have dodged the rain for my entire trip. It was supposed to rain pretty much the whole time. And today's the first day that is actually like really coming down. So, I mean, whatever. Um, but I hope that the rain kind of holds out for my day trip to Pompeii and Amalfi Coast tomorrow. If it doesn't, I mean, I'll just make the most out of it, but I really want a little bit of sun, especially since it's going to be like a quick day trip, boom, boom, but we'll see. I was being ambitious, that's why I just went ahead and booked it on Expedia real quick, like that. Uh, but anyway, yes, so um, yeah, I'm just going to chill out, relax a little bit, let my phone charge, like I said, and then find something to eat. I met the sweetest guy on the train. Um, I, he was sitting next to me and he helped me with my bags and we were just chit-chatting. He was super nice. He's from Napoli. So uh, his name is Giuseppe. So Giuseppe from Napoli, there are probably like 500. Hello from New York City or wherever you're watching this from. Um, okay, so time to rest and then time to roam. 